Okay. Uh, okay guys. So, continue tayo sa discussion natin sa hydraulics and fluid mechanics. So, yung next topic natin is uh, about pressure. Okay. And we all know pressure is just force over the area. Okay. So, yan yung force per unit area or stress. So, this is also called as stress. Huh? Same yung formula ng stress. Okay. Exerted by a fluid particle on a certain point. So, meron tayong types ng pressure. So, apat yan. We have the atmospheric pressure, the gauge pressure, the absolute pressure, and the vacuum pressure. Okay. So, yung formula is P absolute is just equal to P gauge plus the atmospheric pressure. Okay. While yung vacuum pressure naman, yan yung negative na gauge pressure. So, example, meron tayong 10 kilopascal na vacuum. That is equivalent to 10 kilopascal gauge. So, yung atmospheric pressure naman, yan yung standard pressure natin. No? Meron tayong 101, uh, bali 1 atmospheric, ano yan, no? 1 at, uh, atmospheric pressure. So, equivalent to 101.325 kilopascal, 14.7 PSI, 1.032 kilogram per uh, square centimeter, that is 1.013 bar, yeah, and we have also 760 millimeter mercury. So, yan yung equivalent ng 1 atmospheric pressure. So, para mas ma-visualize natin yung type ng pressure, let's say meron tayo dito ng zero pressure. No? So, ito yung zero pressure. No? So, at a certain point, meron tayong tinatawag dito, above the zero pressure, that is the atmospheric pressure. So, ito yan. No? Ito yung atmospheric pressure. So, above nyan, that is the gauge pressure. Yan. So, ito yung sa gauge pressure line. Say, gauge line. Then, uh, dito sa ilalim nya, let's say, yan yung sa vacuum line. Uh, term ko lang siya na line kasi hindi man talaga yan yung height niya ano? so yung distance dito nakikita mo yung ito na distance patungo dito that defines our gauge pressure okay while yung distance dito patungo dito that defines our vacuum pressure okay kaya tinawag siyang negative na gauge pressure kasi sa baba siya ng atmospheric pressure so pag titignan natin yung height ito dito sa zero pressure patungo dito that is the yan na atmospheric pressure okay atmospheric pressure. Then, patungo dito sa height na yan, patungo dito sa zero pressure, that is called as the absolute pressure. Kaya, may kita natin based dito sa uh, illustration natin na uh, yung gauge pressure, di ba? yung absolute pressure, uh, ito P abs, then ito P atmospheric, then ito yung P gauge so based dito sa line you know, makikita natin na na yung P absolute is just you know, P absolute is just equal nito which is the P atmospheric plus yung sa gauge which is this one kaya ganito yung formula so I think klaro na yan na so, meron din tayong tinatawag na Pascal Law. 
So, para mas ma-illustrate yung Pascal, o ganito yan, no? So, provided meron tayong medium na na water. Okay, medium na water. Any liquid, pero same yung ano nila, no? Walang, makikita mo dito sa figure na walang ibang liquid na 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 tawag dyan. Yung, for example, wala siyang dalawang liquid na involved, no? Isang liquid lang talaga, homogeneous liquid lang. So, at any point dyan, for example, itong line na to. So, yung point 1, point 2, point 1, point 2, point 1, point 2, they are all equal according to Pascal. Pag, same lang yung liquid. Sa lahat, no? Sa lahat ng ano. Walang ibang liquid na nahalo sa container na yan. So, in terms of air naman, so, same pa rin. No? Kahit sa ang point dito. No? Kahit dito, 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 dyan, dyan. Lahat yan, pareho. No? According to Pascal. Pero pag nagkataon na uh, yung isang container natin, iba-iba yung liquid na meron siya. For example, meron tayo, let's say, water yan. Then, let's say, ito yung, yun o, uh, ah, ito na lang, no? Let's say, ito yung oil. Then, we have the water. Then, we have the mercury. No, makikita mo na variety nung liquid ang andito dun, andito sa YouTube na uh, ano natin. So, hindi pare-pareho yung point niya at that level, no? So, meron tayong point 1, tsaka point 2. So, hindi pareho yung ano nila. Okay? So, I think that's it for the Pascal Law. I think, na, uh, I think alam mo na yung, yung Pascal Law based dito sa illustration. So, meron tayong example dito. Uh, the piston at, ha at A has a cross-sectional area of 100 square centimeter. While that to B is 500 square centimeter. Okay. So, ito yung A. Then, we have B. So, ito daw is 100 square centimeter. While yung B is 500 square centimeter. So, mas malaki yung diameter ng piston at A, at B. Okay? If the intervening uh, passage is filled with oil, so may oil daw dito. Okay? Oil yung ano nya. So, 0 0.8, what force P, ito, is required to uh, lift up yung 5 tons, which is 5,000 kilograms at B. So, ano daw yung force na i-apply natin para ma- malip up natin yung 5 metric tons. Okay. So, yung ginagawa dito is hinihiwalay natin yan. No? So, hinihiwalay natin yan. So, meron tayong pre-body diagram for this lever arm and for this uh, piston. Okay. So, ito yan. No? So, ayun na. No? So, meron tayong force. Ito yung required. Then, so since may ano yan, hinihiwalay natin. So, mag-generate yan ng force no compressive force ay uh, let's say f na lang so by newton's law so kabaliktad lang yan dito no? so since this is point a so i assume this is f ng a f ng a okay klaro okay so based dito sa figure since hinge to so expected meron yang x and y uh, forces no na component so para mawala yan moment na lang tayo dito no? to cancel out everything for that so mag summation na lang tayo ng moment at hinge equal zero so ibig sabihin lahat ng force na patungo lahat ng force patungo dito then yung lahat ng force na nag act dito sa hinge mawawala okay so we have now the force P times distance nya uh, I assume uh, ito yung positive na part na moment so P times 1.5 and then, to be deducted by force A times 0.5 equal 0. So, this will be our equation 1. Okay? And, take note yung hinahanap is ito. So, once makuha natin to, solve na tayo. Okay? So, yung FN na lang pala yung kulang. So, balikan natin dito. Okay? So, yung gagawin natin is... Meron tayong uh, mag-static pressure equation na lang tayo from A to B. So, let's say uh, static pressure equation
from A to B. Okay. So, meron tayong pressure A. Okay. Dito ako na point. Then, bababa ako dyan. No? By 1.8. That is positive kasi downward. No? Mas grabe yung pressure pag mas malalim ka. Pag nandang ka sa lalim. So, density ng substance. Since yung oil yung ginamit. So, this is density of oil. Times the height niya which is 1.8. Okay. So, andito na tayo. And, ito na yan, no? Yung pressure nung B. Okay? So, pressure A, bababa tayo, is equal nung pressure B. Okay? Parang same yan dito. No? So, for example, meron tayong uh, water na medium. Then, meron tayong 0.1 tsaka 0.2. Okay? So, pag pababa tayo, yung pressure 2 is just to be added, no? Mas malaki yung pressure sa baba kaysa dun sa mas kaysa dun sa point 1 ha? pero kung dito ka magsimula so P2 minus yung point 1 so ganun lang ha? so bali ngayon yung alam natin yung pressure ha? yung pressure equals force over area ha? so subset ko na lang so force nung A area nung A plus density specific gravity nung oil density ng water na equivalent yan ng specific uh, specific weight ng oil and equals 1.8 and this is force ng B over area ng B okay so ngayon uh, substitute natin yung mga values so we have FA all over area ng A which is 0.01 plus we have 0.8 times density ng water we have 1000 kilograms per yeah? density ng water is 1000 kilograms per cubic meter then times 1.8 and we have force at B that is 5000 kilograms no? 5000 kilograms so wala kong problema consistent ako sa units ah. naka kilograms tsaka naka meter Okay, so wala akong problema sa units. So we have 0.05. So therefore, yung force at A is just equal to 985.6 kilograms. Okay, klaro? So balik na tayo dito sa equation 1. So substitute FA to equation 1. So makukuha natin yung value nung P and that is 9 uh, 328.5 kg and ito na yung sagot so so far yan lang muna no? so continue na lang tayo ng discussion natin dito sa manometry concept na so ganun pa rin pressure pa, pa rin naman din So, continue na lang tayo ha. So, madali lang ha. Basta alam mo lang yung mga formulas na gagamitin mo. Okay? Then, dapat tandaan mo lang to. Okay? So, continue na lang tayo ng discussion dito. Then, solve natin yung mga problem na to. Ha? Ayan. Sige. So, see you. That's it. Thank you.